All right, we are back. Gotta head to Herbology class. About time. We've only been to Charms. Wait, what the heck is that? I don't know what these rolls are. I need to find that out. But so far, we've only been to Charms and... Uh... Oh, that's creepy. That's trippy. Came out while I was walking with it. But we've only been to Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts. I believe. I teleported to a random location because between this part and last part, I actually went back to Hogsmeade and I was just discovering some, uh, a bunch of different field guide pages. I think I got up to like 30 something pages in Hogsmeade. <laughs> There's so many more. There we go. But I teleported back. What else do I have to do? Because I have Hecate's assignment, which is, uh, I have to dodge 10 enemy attacks. Well, yeah. I, th I think that's what it was. Yeah, heck, it's assignment two. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling. Which is not that hard. But I, I wish I would have paid attention to that. I would have done that back in my last duel. Before I became the champion. I don't know if there's going to be any more of that. But for this part, we're going to do Herbology real quick. And then go do the year, uh, the girl from Yugadao? Yugado? I forgot. I already forgot how to pronounce that place. I really did. The heck? Akio. There's another one. Okay. That's good. There we go. Oh, there's the steps. I'm excited to see the other classes, though. What else is there? There's... Ooh, flu flames. That's herbology. Is that what? Do I take a potions class? I don't think there's any uh, spell rewards for herbology, which would make sense, I guess. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How Most of these people already know me. to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Well, mandrake now, roots the one that screams, everyone, doesn't it? Grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Yeah, I thought I remembered that one. The ones that actually, uh, scream. I mean, it's a good defense mechanism. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone! Was that it? Was that the class? Now for our next task, oh, I was about to we'll say. be planting dittany at our potting tables. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knockgrass. Yes, Professor. 
Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I enjoyed it. It's pretty fun. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my staff this little arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. I mean, you can't help but like a professor that's actually enthusiastic about what they do. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll Thank be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. I think you're the one I dueled in the dueling club, didn't I? Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I mean, he is pretty I good. I need to put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. How do I do that? Um. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was a thing here. Oh my god, I did not know this was a thing. That makes so much more sense. Look at that. They're chomping anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Can I just step on you? Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Yeah, I suppose they could come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Can I harvest Take anything else? I'll see you back in class. I'll just take more of those. Return to Professor Garlic. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I, talking to I tended okay. to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. From 
remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Yeah, as am I. Plants offer so much, especially in this universe. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay, is that the end of this but quest? These mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Oh, that's Clopton. So the next quest is, uh, Yuga Dao. Oh, wrong tab. Oh, potions class. Should I go ahead and do that? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It shouldn't take take long to do that, and I should be able to go do uh, Yuga Dao still in this part. There's a lot to do in this game, and I don't want to miss anything. I'll probably try to from now on if I'm doing any side quests. Shouldn't uh, or someone from the ministry guarding? Professor Black. Probably do some side quests in the. Uh... Revelio. Sorry, I got distracted there. I was looking for a Revelio page, but do some side quests off camera, but. Stick to the main quest, but this is part of the main quest, so I want to film it. Especially the first classes for each of these. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. That's what the Ditney leaves are for. It looks like he's kind of resentful that it can't repair more, because it looks like he's been injured. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Oops, sorry, I was going the wrong way. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I mean, I assume this is the right stuff. I don't know. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Am I the first done? Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank and you. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Okay. Come see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Collects My parents considered keeping me home from school this year dark after Mongol the rumors of a goblin Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? That was correct. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary oh, opportunity. Oh, no, it's a Weasley. 
I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. I doubt Pleasure that. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I mean, if I have it on I me, I'll give it to you, but... a single Fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know about that. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Yeah. I like you, Weasley. I like your, uh... Aunt, I believe he said, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Yeah, sorry, dude, but I ain't trying to steal from a professor. I don't feel like that's a very well smart idea. Can I loot your chest? Thanks for the gold. Ah, yeah, I'm not taking that thing. Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Brew in a Duras potion. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. 25 seconds? Okay. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Yeah, I wouldn't have trust you with that pooper feather anyways. Oh, Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Yeah, I wouldn't have trust you with that feather anyways. Let me be honest with my guy. That's the, uh, Duras potion. I brewed an Edurus potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I Thank confess you. I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay, what, what else do I have? I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. There we go. Ugh, my robes are going to reach So let... What is the only thing left? Is it Yugadao? There we go. Now I can continue on with this main quest. Actually, this is a long trip for this one. I believe I have to go quite far. Just to get out the main door. If it's seed by Martha. But then I have to walk like down to a different hamlet. This is gonna be a quite a quite a trip. Lower Hogsfield. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that's way lower on the map there. I'll pull it up when I get out in the courtyard here. There we go. God, it looks so good every time. So I'm pretty sure that's actually the Quidditch field over there. I don't know if there's going to be a, uh, a thing I can get on the map there, but either way, for now, no interest. Like I said, I reordered that uh, Quidditch Champions game because I saw there's a career mode, and I'm I'm actually very interested in checking that out and filming it. Let's pull up the map real quick. I don't know why I went to that button. Yeah, so she wants to meet way down here. 
Yeah, quite, quite, quite far. Okay, well, I guess I gotta make the trip either way, so let's get to it. I don't have a broom yet. I need to get a broom. I think that's, I think that's something you can get. You just can't play Quidditch. Because I heard something about, uh, if you join Ravenclaw, you can have a landing pad. Which is, I mean, that indicates that you can have a broom and fly around with. And you have mounts, so yeah. Wait, I'm a dummy. It says it in gear, doesn't it? Flying mounts and broom. Yeah, <laughs> it says it right there. Yeah, so there's definitely going to be a broom. It's just I haven't gotten that yet. Hopefully I'll be able to get that pretty soon. God, that's a freaking big castle, man. What is this? Moonstone. I don't know what the use of that is for, but we'll find out. It's actually a way bigger map than I thought it would be. When I first started this game, I, I really didn't expect a whole lot, but they've actually uh, made quite an extensive map. Wait, don't tell me I had a flu here this whole time, and I did not use it. Are you serious? Oh, that's embarrassing if it is. Why does that look like Hagrid's house? Nah, it's not close enough to the forest. What is this place? Revelio. This looks intriguing. What are you what are you talking about? Is there something over here that I'm missing? Oh. Or is something below me there? What the heck is that? I'm not gonna mess with that yet. Let's get let's actually go meet uh Natty. She wants to talk about uh Rookwood and Ranrock that we saw in Hogsmeade. On our little adventure there, so let's see what she wants to say. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. Yeah, I no am joke. Well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I mean, I did already tell Sebastian, so I might as well tell you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. That's fair. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I mean, I'm glad to hear it, but this could also be very dangerous. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Well, I appreciate Rumor all the support. Has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. What do you mean, taking that him down? That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. 
I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. Okay. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the yeah. meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Really need to be careful about this. This could be very, be very dangerous. Are you just going back to Hogwarts? I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Oh, this is the main quest. Okay, I'll do this. Oh, can I get one of these? Help the stranger. Okay. Oh, that looks like a dude in top hat. They must have come this way. Think. Who says dark wizard? I don't know I if no I like idea. that. Who it is you think I might have seen? I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Oh, they're looking for me. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Well, too bad. A student, you can't be <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefied. Oh, I got this. I see you. Something's not wrong with it. Oh my god. Potato. Okay, that was very easy. Wait, that is that Rookwood or what? the light go out of your eyes? More duelists. Oh, this is a perfect time in uh perfect time to dog dodge people. We can hold them off. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this student over my dead body! This is perfect. Okay, this is also very dangerous. Tell Rookwood to find me himself. There's a feat, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Yeah, I need to be very careful. I didn't complete the feat, but I got that done. Did I complete the dodging mission? What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. I've been so close to Hogwarts. I'm sorry you had to be involved with that. Nora Treadwell? Uh, real quick, I just do want to check if I got that qu quest completed. Oh, I only did three? Really? Dang. That's a lot of fighting to complete that. Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. I hear some more people Best in the background, though. On I don't know if I like that. Before they return. Who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I mean, I have his gear. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. 
Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow okay. Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Yeah, why not? I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay, pick that up. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Well, thank I you. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. So I assume that place now, is here. Notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's do this. Oh, wow, that what? worked. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm. Incendio? This is uncharted territory. Incendio! Spallin's beard! Oh, it the works. flames make the pyre sink. Did I succeed? Oh, I did. Was it just a time trial to get those, uh, those burnt? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, how beautiful. <laughs> no joke. I want that magic. Let me do that. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Speak to Nora Treadwell. What, what the freak was that leaf human shape? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Okay. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes. Revelio. That's pretty cool. Like, you gotta admit. Everything about this is so sick. So there's tri new trials around the map, I guess. I said I have a new quest, did it not? Or are I still the assignments? I don't really know how to get that. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Oh, so there's a... Okay, that's the new quest. And it said I have mail. Did it not? Owl post? Oh, that's what it was. Okay, quests. Prisoner of Love. Speak to the portrait of Eldrick, Eldritch Diggory. Like Cedric's uh, ancestor. No, I don't want to set a waypoint. Go to the map. So we need to go to our common room. So, Hufflepuff common room. Are all Diggory's Hufflepuffs? Because that, that's a very interesting fact, if that is true. I mean, everyone I know of now has been a Hufflepuff. If uh, Eldritch is uh, in the common in the Hufflepuff common room, he must be a uh, Hufflepuff. And Cedric is just an awesome character. What I know from the books, at least, he's a freaking awesome character. Who's that, Sweets? Dude, what the heck? A freaking Minecraft block of cake? You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldridge Diggory. 
former minister for magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at oh, really? your service. I believe you can help solve a decades old murder thanks to that book you found and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Yeah, man. Let's do it. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. Yeah, when were you the minister? This must have been, must be a pretty old dude. When were you the minister for magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. Nice. The stories I could tell you. Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. They said upper hog With field. what I suspect is your so? knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there soon, so, I hope. Upper Hogsfield. Let's look at the world map again. The opposite way this time. So the best way to go is to... Hogsmeade map. What's the furthest flu? Right here, I guess. The uh, North Hogsmeade. There we go. Fast travel to that. Speak to Helen Thistlewood. Oh, it's even further away from Natty was. Like I said, I spent some time in Hogsmeade between parts just to uh, discover some of the field guide pages. I still didn't get them all. There's so many to discover. There's, I'm not even going to be able to discover them all um, during this whole playthrough. There's just so many to do. And I really need that Elohimora spell. What the heck is... What's the red markers? What the heck is this? I'm gonna find out. One less human to worry about. I'll bury you in the deepest. This is spot. perfect time. Absolutely perfect. Yes. There we go. There's Hecate's assignment. You will suffer. Akio. Levioso. Protego. Super. There's the ancient magic. No! Holy crap, I just beat that dude. Uh, ah. Stupid. Uh, uh. That wasn't bad. Too late to learn the error of your ways. Okay. Is there anything I can... 
I can get around here. That was a good fight, and I got my uh, assignment done, so I can do that. That's perfect. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. What the heck? Ooh, I'll, I'll definitely come back to that. I will definitely be back for this. Can I set a waypoint? Just a, a secondary waypoint? Just, uh, just to remember for that. Oh, I need to set it again. I walked right through it. Okay, there we go. Speak to Helen Thistlewood. Oh, there's a bunch of fights out this way. And I am completely okay with that. Nah, I didn't even dodge it. Did I get him? There we go. Defeat goblins. It's kind of making that waypoint I set its own uh, marker. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm trying to make it to this. Eh, at least it's showing me where it is. There you are, this Helen must Thistlewood. Be the place Minister Diggory just... mentioned. Get Helen this, lives uh... around here somewhere. Let me just get that. There we go. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, can you face me? Excuse me. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Oh, there we go. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Where do I know the name Jackdaw? I feel like I know that name. I mean, I'll... I, I, I don't really feel like it's good to visit Azkaban, but I'll come with you to Azkaban if it will save her. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit. But I will keep you safe. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna ask those questions. Very I'm ready well. to go. Let's go, go save. Ahead. Let's go Steady save her. Yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry, I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Still, I, I hate... <laughs> Apparition looks so weird. I wonder when I would see that spell. Now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. Yeah. This really is Maybe a dismal Tell me that before place, we leave. But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. The Dementals won't harm us now. Still, be careful. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such yeah, monsters. Okay. Yeah, Dementors. I completely I forgot am. about those, but I was I was I wondering. If, Crucio and the lot of you. I was wondering when I would see uh, the Expecto Patronum yes, being used. I teach you so little of what you should know of. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Oh. Darkness. My Is this uh Ant? My only hope. No one at school is going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Wait, is that the ruins Ellen. that I walked by? Ellen. No, you're here. Come in closer. Be a dear. What is it, Anne? <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh no. Please don't. Oh god, no. Please don't let her be harmed. You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get. Um, now I'm I know I honestly don't know if I trust her at the moment. But Madam Thistlewood, I All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. So it's not the ruins that I went to, if it's even further. Yep. So I, I'm not sure if I trust her at the moment, because that dude in the in the uh, in Azkaban said that the witch with you has a dark taint around her. I believe she, she said. So I, I just don't know if I trust him at the moment. Her uh, Helen. I don't know if I trust her at the moment. Dark mongrel. Accio. 
Labioso. There we go. We get the fur. Got a lot of nice fights in this area. I'm excited to be fighting more things. This must be the place Anne told me about. Find what Jackdaw left no for Anne. No one's been here for ages. Yeah. No, no joke. Uh-oh. I don't know if I like this. What the heck am I doing? Back here. No, that's not it. Uh, do I have to find out an order? Revelio. Incendio. Did I get it? There we go. What is this? Akio. That was just gold. Revelio. It's over here. More gold. Oh, what, what, these are highlighted blue. Akio. Okay. Akio. That works. Revelio helps quite a bit. I mean, it just gave me the Can answer. Can me, Jackdaw? Now, where's the clue you left behind? Oh, it's right here. My dearest Anne, well done. You solved my puzzle. I knew you were a kindred spirit, and the only one with whom I could truly share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest as soon as you can, and I will show you the map that I mentioned. There's no telling where it will lead us. I found it on pages that Peeves ripped from a secret book, and Noah sell no one else seems to be able to find. I haven't, I haven't any idea what lies ahead, but I'm glad to know I shall share my future with you. This is only the beginning, Richard. P.S. I am terribly glad you found this, as I would have gone, gone on alone if you did not. And what fun would that be? So Jackdaw, Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? So Jackdaw must have a connection to that same ancient magic as I do, because if if no one else can seem to find the book, could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed, Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw. I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? Ooh, about that. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Yeah, actually, before we go, I'm gonna ask, uh, how do you- how did you steal from Peeves? How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. 
Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Okay, I was about to say, is it going to give me a location? Sit at the edge of the forbidden forest. Where is that at exactly? Gotta wait for it to pop up here. Takes a minute. There it is. Oh, it's even further that way. 700 that way. Wow. Ooh, I can't even do it yet. I need to go do Professor Hackett's assignment. So that, that's not too hard, though. So it's locked. So I'll have to head back to uh, Hogwarts. But I think this is where we're going to call it for this part, for now at least. Um, we'll head back to Hogwarts to do uh, Professor Hecate's assignments in the f beginning of the next part and continue on with the uh, Forbidden Forest. Find the map from uh, that he found in Peeves' wave of destruction. In, in the wake of his destruction is what he said. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Um, I've had I've quite a bit of fun with this game so far. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting stuff to do. But, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.